Greetings, everybody. T. Prower once again. After the brilliant insanity of last week's episode, let's see if we can steer ourselves back to normalcy. I know only a couple things about this episode that involves our favorite number one assistant and two very special friends he made only last season. Without further ado, let's jump right into Season 7, Episode 15, Triple Threat. Now, if it were Triple Trouble, we have to worry about Dr. Robotnik, Knuckles, and Knack the Weasel instead. Let's get to it! Ah, hello, your royal studiousness. Is the banner even? Hey, Spike. What are you guys up to today? Are the flowers in place? By which I mean completely out of view. Why don't you want flowers? I'm pretty sure dragons don't like flowers. And what about the ceremonial dragon fire flame of friendship? Is it still flaming? Whoa! Spike, yeah, it's so still great. flaming. You're getting yourself you okay, kiddo? No I have lots of reasons. In fact, I wrote them down. Uh, you've been hanging around Twilight for too long. <laughs> exactly, one, Starlight. I'm Dragon Lord Ember to Ponyville today. Reason two, the Dragon Lord is a dragon. Reason three, she's coming here to learn more about friendship. According to Ember's letters, the dragons are trying to be friends, but competing is in their nature, and it's leading to more and more fights. Which brings I me to see. reason number four. The Dragon Lord wants my advice, and as a new official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons, I can't let her down. Wow. Lots of new intercultural responsibilities for the main seven, aren't there? Pinky's the friendship ambassador to the Yaks, and Spike's the friendship ambassador to the dragons. I'll bet you Flourish I would make a good one for the Breezies. <laughs> Still, I admire your sense of responsibility, little buddy. Good for you! I know you feel a lot of pressure, but you got this, Spike. Yes, you do. I... I just want things to be perfect. <gasps> Thorax! Thorax! You're in Ponyville! Of course I am, silly. You invited me, and I'm not one to back out of an invitation. It's Good to like, see you, your Starlight. benevolence. Hey! Ooh, I can't believe you did all this for me. Great banner. Love the stage. What's um, actually... Oh, it's pretty. You invited Thorax over to Ponyville on the same day as Ember? Apparently. That How did you forget? Like a good idea. How are you going to entertain them both? I have no idea. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't worry, Spike. I'm sure things will work out just fine. I completely forgot. Thorax wrote and said he needed to talk, and I told him to come over. I didn't realize it was the same day I invited Ember. What am I going to do? Well, first off, Maybe don't like lose your time. head. Probably not. Ember is tough and self-assured and intimidating. And Thorax is... Spike, I'm so glad you invited me. You are one of my closest, nicest, most caring, most understanding friends ever. Ooh, is that ice in the shape of a dragon? Aw, he's so yes, innocent. Right. They might not get each other. Or worse, they'll hate each other. And if the leader of the Changelings and the Dragon Lord get into a fight, oh, I could be responsible for starting a war that could ruin Equestria as we know it. Ooh, boy. Yikes. Okay, yes, that would be catastrophic, but I'm sure that won't happen. Equestria almost went to war with the Yaks, remember? And we still found a way to prevent it. Let's just see how things play out, okay? I'm sure that won't happen. Now pull it together. Buck up, little buddy. So, uh, Thorax, everything good with you? Well, honestly, no, not really. I have indigestion. I'm not sure if it's the new diet or stress, or, or maybe it's both. Oh, no! look who's here. Yeah, it really could be both. And it might be affecting my sleeping, too. Better do oh, something. Sounds like you really need to unwind. Uh, how about a, uh, a trip to the castle? <laughs> you can't miss that view. Yes, oh, yes! Castle. I hear it works great for... Tour. indigestion. Aren't you coming? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab some ice cream for us and catch up. <laughs> Go on ahead, Thorax. Amber! Wow. 
Whoa, too close. Dragon Lord Ember. As the official equestrian friendship ambassador for the Dragonlands and for Ponyville, I, Spike of Ponyville, welcome you to uh, Ponyville. Welcome, your lordship. Official speech. Uh, ladyship. Okay. Thanks. Aww. <laughs> The hug thing. <laughs> Still need to work on that, I see. This place has a lot of colors. In the Dragonlands, everything's just rocks or the color of ash. <gasps> Whoa! That's probably. Bless not. you! Hey, Twilight! Uh, that's Actually, Starlight. I'm Starlight. Starlight Glimmer. Nice to meet you. Charmed. Oh, sorry. I'm. Really gonna have to get used to these pony names. Lots of lights and shiny things. Not always. Uh, so where is Twilight? She's in her castle. We should go visit her then. Part of friendship is saying hi to your friends, right? Uh, uh, yes. Well, yes, it is. Good job, Andrew. You're making weird noises. Do you have a stomach ache? Trust me, I, I, I know a thing or two about stressed stomach aches. Well, you know what us dragons say: push past the pain. Now let's go. Nice saying. Or we could stay here. Or I could go without you. <laughs> Taking a third option. <laughs> uh, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> we all do, Glims. Yoo-hoo! Any Good. pony home? They're not here. What was that? Uh, I... I said it's all clean in here. <laughs> Polished from top to bottom. Uh, you must be hungry from your travels. Please, I'd love to present you with an official friendship welcome banquet. Got some gems you were saving for her? She's eating the crystal dishes! <laughs> mm, that's not food. Dragons love gems. Fine, but you're telling Twilight what happened to her wall. <laughs> oh boy. She's Just not gonna be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy all the uh, crystal things. Where are you going? I thought this was an official friendship banquet. Just gotta use a little dragon drill. Stomach ache, you know. So, this is my comfy chair for fictional reads. Aww. This is my studying chair because the hard back keeps me awake. <laughs> Of course you have different chairs for oh, different Spike. reading. I'm so glad you're here. Well, this castle visit is getting weird. Twilight really likes chairs. And books. Oh, what happened to the ice cream? What? Oh, right. Uh, they ran out. Hey, I'm really sorry, but I gotta borrow Twilight quickly. You could just tell him the truth, you know. Be right back. Uh, but we didn't get a talk yet. Uh -huh. Thorax. Ember's here! I know. I saw you coming and had to distract Thorax by showing him chairs. Why did you bring Ember to the castle of all places? I don't know. Ember was asking for you. Thorax wants to talk with me. We need to switch places. We're beginning suspicious. Calm down, um, kiddo. We, we can handle Thorax this. Thorax and Ember feel special and keep them apart for a few more hours. We can do this. Ah! What the? What? You also have to solve a friendship problem. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. First Starlight, and now Spike? Spike doesn't even have a cutie mark. But the map's calling him now. Holy crap, Baskets. The possibilities are limitless now. But all that aside... This could not be worse timing for him. He's got two very important friends who need him right now. How's he gonna get out of this one? The map is calling me? Oh, amazing! The map is really reaching out! <laughs> Next thing you know, it'll that call the Crusaders. Spike, are you here? Ember's eaten all of Twilight's decorations and... Oh, hey, Twilight! <laughs> <gasps> Glowing map. Glowing spikes. Yep. That's map good. summons. I know! At least 
Just your friendship problem is in Ponyville? <laughs> Wait, it is? I couldn't see it all that clearly. Oh, wait! I bet Thorax and Ember have something to do with it! That's gotta be it! Okay, okay. To pull this off, I'm gonna need both of you to help. You two need to keep Ember and Thorax separate while I get ice cream. Ice cream? You mean find really? a friendship problem? Yes! Go easy on me. I'm under a lot of pressure. He is, actually. Would you friendship handle problem? things any better, Twy? You only got a friendship problem here? Any problems to solve? Sorry, kiddo. I don't think you're gonna problems? find it out here. Friendship problems? Don't go less than zero you on us, Spike. Got a problem here? No? Okay. Sorry to bug ya. Well, I think vanilla strawberry cream is overused. Oh! Lyra's talking! Um, I mean, what seems to be the problem? Just humor him, girls. Excuse you. Amber, there you are. Okay. Aw, right. hugs. More pony hugs. How's your trip to Ponyville so far? Well, I'm certainly learning a lot about friendship. I had no idea it was polite to decorate your walls in your friend's favorite foods. Um. Yeah, hey, let's go with where that. Where Starlight go? I feel like I'm being avoided. It's not out of malice, no. I promise. They're just making sure everything is perfect for your welcome party later. In the meantime, how about I show you around town? Sounds good. I can't exactly learn about friendship if I don't make new friends. Good point. <sighs> Getting cozy there, your majesty? Um, Twilight and Spike had some boring official paperwork to deal with. So, looks like you and I get to hang out. What would you like to do? I would I love to, to hang out with you, Glimmy. He said he'd be right back. Oh, you will. But first, how about we grab a bite to eat? Hmm. Well, you know, now that you've said it, I am a little hungry. Is there a dining room in the castle? Why, yes! And it would just I vacate, as a matter yeah, of fact. That's castle food. If you want the good stuff, we gotta go to town. Uh-oh, teacher and student have the same idea. And that's why you should never let cupcake flavors get in the way of your friendship. Huh, I guess I never thought of it that way. Thanks, Spike. Good work, kiddo. Oh, come on, glow! Spike! Sorry, little buddy, that there wasn't it. Uh, done with your boring paperwork, I see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hint, hint. I am done with whatever Starlight says I was doing. Thorax wanted to get out of the castle. I thought coming to town was a really, really great idea. Well, maybe now we can talk. Well, what's been bothering you, Thorax? Sure. I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks, Glims. I want to say thank you for having me over. I'm in a bit of a leadership pickle, and I could use some advice. Well, oh, I see. Definitely Late on us. Help you out as quickly as possible. Here's my problem. There's this renegade group of changelings who still feed off of love. Even though I said, hey, let's not do that anymore, they say, hey, this is how we've been doing things for hundreds of years. But it's like they don't want to. Even though I'm the leader and I asked... Just hear him out, Spike. This is important. Hey, Cheerily. They seem interested. I am Ember, daughter of Torch, winner of the Gauntlet of Fire, and lord of all dragons. <laughs> Impressive display, I do that, but I think it was a little too much. That's not how ponies make friends. Uh, I get it. Derpy! This is a weird Ember! thing you ponies do, right? No, don't do that! So sorry, Derpy. Uh, she still has a lot to learn. Too? What are you talking about? You've been with me this whole time. No, I'm Starlight. Oh, come on, Ember. I know their names are similar, but they don't look the same. Right. I'm sorry, but you can't blame me. You both look and act so much alike. What? Oh, for crying out loud. I would say, like teacher, like student, but come on! Look at their colors! Their mane and tail styles! Their eyes! Their physiques! Their cutie marks! Twilight has wings for Pete's sake! No two ponies are the same! 
Except the Royal Guards, but that's not the point! And they said to me they just keep saying the same thing. Meanwhile, you know, Thorax is still at it. In childhood. That must have been three. Three's a different story. And you definitely gotta hear it. But the story about my brother was when I was two. Or was I one? Uh-oh. What's this going on there? I saw it first. Well, I got here first. Oh boy. Thorax, uh, excuse me for a second. This won't take but a minute. Ponies, please. If I may, I think I can help solve this friendship problem. You two should sit together. You both like the same place, you both ordered muffins, you're both ponies. I think if you made a little effort, you'd find it Whoa! Whoa. Okay, it looks like that problem solved. It. Come on, Spikes. Glow! Hey, Still not it, kiddo. Really great advice. So, what do you think I should do? <gasps> Ruh -roh. Actually, I uh, need a minute alone to uh, really come up with great advice. I'll be right back. <sighs> great. No problem. Leave me again. It's fine. Sorry, Thorax. I'm just saying, you're both purple ponies with purple hair. Not the same shades. You cutie marks with sparkly things. Not the same kind, Mine's though. more of a glimmer. <laughs> How is that different? Good oh, good grief. Spike, can you please tell these two I'm right? They look very similar. Amber, please, well, you know, you're really offending them. Is, let something go and it's upsetting some pony else. But I'm right. Besides, who are you to be telling me about friendship? I've barely seen you all day. Now hold on a second, I've Missy. Seen you? Are you calling me a liar? Yikes! Hey, no one yells at my friend. Holy crap! Now just hold on here. Actually, the bear is a changeling, and he's quite gentle. Not anymore. Thorax, calm down. Ember, don't. Oh, jeez. Spike, you gotta do something! No! Thank you! Away, Spike. I'm not gonna let this dragon harm a scale on your back. You back away! I'm not gonna let you harm him! Wait, did you say you're not gonna let me harm Spike? Yeah! But that's what I'm doing! See? What? You both already have something in what? common! <laughs> Friendship with Spike! <laughs> Changeling against Dragon is about to begin! And it's all my fault! My title of Equestria's Friendship Ambassador is a lie! Calm oh, down, Spike. They're not fighting anymore. Fighting? Why would we be fighting? Because I accidentally invited you both over to Ponyville on the same day? So, so what? He was worried so you wouldn't I get along. I was trying to keep you apart because I didn't think you'd get along. Oh. I get it. You thought he wouldn't like me just because I'm a dragon and I'm bad at friendship? No, well, no, it doesn't not. really what? help matters. What? Isn't that why you're here? I can say I'm bad at friendship. You can't say it about me. You know what? I don't want to talk about it. Wait! Amber, please. wait! I'm sorry. No, no. It's cool. You thought I would be too soft and someone like Amber would never respect me. Just like my own changelings. No, oh, that's Thorax. not it. Thorax, wait! Oh no. What have I done? Oh, Spike. I know you didn't mean this to happen. Why are you still here? <sighs> because I'm having trouble eating my pack, so I don't really want to go home. Wait, you're in charge? Oh. Boy, you need to be more assertive. Well, <laughs> Take lessons problem. from Fluttershy, Thorax. I, I tried asking them to please follow my directions. I even offered a prize, and then... Shh! Stop talking. That's how you do it. Damn. Oh, that just gave me chills. I know you have it in you. You turned into a bear to defend Spike. Huh. I guess I can be tough when I'm defending my friends, but when I'm just enforcing my rules, I, I feel unsure of myself. There's nothing to be unsure of. You're the leader for a reason. Make a decision and let it be known that the decision is final. And if that doesn't work, turn into a bear. 
<laughs> good advice, Ember. That's good advice. I know it is. So, what's your deal? Why do you think you're so bad at friendship? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you have to. How else are you going to solve your problems? Open up your ladyship. Through feats of strength and fire duels, of course. <laughs> Uh, how does that help? Crushing another dragon in competition establishes my dominance and makes me feel great. Impressive, right, but... but... Uh, how do you think they feel? Humiliated! Ashamed! They probably want to run away and bury themselves under a rock and... Never come out. They're probably sad. Kinda low. Definitely not happy. That's because that kind of competition can divide you. And it doesn't get to the heart of the issue. Talking about your feelings does. Bless you. I think I'm allergic to feelings. You know, you don't have to be savvy or huggy-feely about it. But you should let your friends know how you feel. Uh, Good advice yourself, Thorax. Where? Oh, Spike. <laughs> I got there. <laughs> right. I think they're gone. They probably never want to see me again. Or oh, I wouldn't that. say that, little buddy. Guess what, Spike? I know. I'm so sorry. Let me talk about this. Okay, Bye. okay. Feel <laughs> mad. <sighs> okay. It's a good That's start, a good Ember. First attempt. Now maybe try to be more specific. I'm uh, upset. You have every right to be. I know I do. And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend Thorax said it would make me feel better. And it does. Yes. Good for you. And I have no problem telling you what you did was wrong because my friend Ember is helping me be more sure. Bravo. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be mad at me. I was so worried about how it could go wrong, I didn't even think about how it could go right. Can you forgive me? Of course, I kiddo. I you feel better. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> me too. Duh. <laughs> hey, look at that! Friendship okay. problem solved. I solved the friendship problem! Actually, you created the friendship problem by not trusting your friends. Yeah, but then I solved it by learning my lesson. That's my boy! I told my two friends about each other immediately, instead of assuming they wouldn't get along. Good That's job, right. Spike. Is this another part of pony friendship? Telling each other what you learned all the time? <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it, Ember. Yep. <laughs> so, as a show of unity, I present the Dragonfire Flame of Friendship to both Dragon Lord Ember and Thorax, leader of the Changeling Pack. May the Flame of Friendship burn for eternity. Woohoo! Uh, oops. You should have more things made of rocks. <laughs> yeah, that might probably help. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. I'm more and more impressed with how well Spike's being treated as of late, and this episode was no exception. We got the return of both Thorax and Ember, and had some good supporting roles from both Twilight and Starlight. Spike had invited Ember to visit Ponyville, but he'd forgotten that he already agreed to meet with Thorax on the same day. Fearing the worst of a meeting between the two, including the possibility of a full-scale war, he tried to make sure they didn't come across one another, with help from Twine Glimpse. Things got pretty awkward, but they escalated quickly when Spike was called by the Friendship Map for the first time. I'm telling you, there's nothing that map doesn't know. Makes you wonder who else could call in future episodes. However, despite the Friendship problem being in Ponyville, him and Spike had to find out what it was, straining his time with his two guests even further. This came to a head when Ember and Thorax finally did come face to face over a misunderstanding, both willing to fight each other to protect Spike. When Spike confessed what he'd been up to, the two turned cold on him for not trusting them to get along with each other.
and left to do some thinking. As it turns out, they did manage to find some common ground with each other besides their friendship with Spike. Anxiety over their roles as leaders of their own species. Ember started coaching Thorax and being more assertive with rebellious changelings, while Thorax started helping Ember open up with expressing her true feelings. As a result, they managed to befriend each other and forgave Spike, meaning his friendship mission was a success. Even if he was the one who started the problem himself. Spike was so worried about the worst that could happen, just because of Thorax and Ember's different species and personalities, they never stopped to think about the good that could happen as well. We've all had that happen to us. Worrying over what might happen, instead of waiting to see what does happen. Stressing about the worst case scenario never does anyone any favors, nor does trying to sweep the issue under the rug. It helps to stay optimistic and trust that things will work out in the end. And they did this time around, despite a few hiccups. A fun, interesting episode, all in all. Until next time, see ya!